What's up, Cinephiles? This is our second Halloween special where we are going to discuss some of the greatest horror icons of all time. Oh yeah, let's We are it. doing strictly on the horror genre, so mm -hmm. Joker, even though we like Joaquin Phoenix performance, <laughs> is not included here. <laughs> Straight up horror only, okay? Let's go, let's go, let's go! My number five is gonna be Chucky! You stupid bitch, you filthy slut! Did you fuck with me? Oh man, <laughs> this is one of those horror movie villains that terrorized me as a child. The idea of this doll wielding this knife trying to kill you. And looking back at it, it's that character is actually quite funny to me now because of the Latin words that he's saying in those movies. I don't know, I, I love Chucky man. I kinda of felt bad that I forgot to include Chucky. <laughs> Two years ago I did actually a cosplay of Chucky. Really? But yes, yes, I'm gonna show you the photo. Okay, later. okay. But he's like this annoying pest the whole time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, that's a good pick, okay. So my number five pick is actually is actually Sadako. My fifth spot is actually a toss-up between Sadako and Michael Myers, but okay. I chose Sadako because I feel like Asians need to be represented. Oh, hey. The Ring, come on, it's a terrifying film. Yeah. We are all terrorized by that, that long-haired, long-haired woman that comes out from a beach estate. And not to mention, if Hannah Baker yeah. did herself a, a, a recording, I mean, this is what a killer suicide really means because yeah. whoever watches the video is going to die and i uh, like the the film has also a lot of things to say in japanese culture yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what if you felt bad about not thinking about chucky i feel bad about not thinking about sadako that is absolutely a scary movie villain okay now my number four pick is actually hannibal lecter from silence of the lambs He is probably the most complex villain in my list. Uh, the only reason that he's not higher is because really for the most part of the movie he doesn't really act like the big baddie in Silence of the Lambs. But if you think about it, cannibalism is really terrifying. Can you imagine you will be eaten like some pork chop by someone? Ah oh, man, it grosses me out. Uh, Hannibal. Hannibal Lecter is second on my list. Oh. I mean, we have a lot of reiterations of Hannibal, yeah. but the most popular one is played by Anthony Hopkins. Anthony Hopkins, yeah. Yeah, uh, I, yeah he, he doesn't look like a villain yeah. at this film, but it's, it kind of feels inviting, his performance, and without you knowing that it's actually a cannibalistic character. Yeah. But what I truly fell in love, I mean, that feels so wrong to say, uh, but I truly, I am truly drawn to Hannibal's character when I started watching this TV series, mm. The Hannibal. It's oh, actually yeah. based on the, the original novel, The Mads 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 Mads. Yeah, yeah, Mads Mikkelsen. A much layered backstory mm -hmm. of Hannibal. He is a connoisseur yeah. of wine, of food. My number fourth spot is Pennywise. Oh, uh, yeah. From it. <laughs> Uh, I've only seen it and it chapter two, but come on, Pennywise takes many forms. Yeah. You can, uh, any type of fear you have, Pennywise has something in store for you. But plus, a clown in ge general, mm -hmm. evil clown. I mean, a lot of people are terrified with that. Yeah, uh, I uh, I agree with that, Pennywise. That's a really great villain. Maybe the only reason that he's not on my list is because uh, that the it movie is really recent. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, my bias comes into play because there's not a lot of nostalgia there, mm -hmm. but that is absolutely a good pick, man. Uh, my number three pick, I'm going with Alien. <laughs> not 
not J the James Cameron movie na Aliens, but the Ridley Scott movie, the original one, the Alien, original one. which is an absolute masterclass in horror and tension. Um, you really don't get to see a lot from the Alien from that in that movie, but the presence alone creates so much tension in the air. Uh, it really scared me shitless as a kid. So Alien, that's my top three. Third pick is actually Freddy Krueger. <laughs> Please, God. This is God. He's the only representative I have in the slasher category, mm -hmm. strictly slasher category in my top five. Yeah. And I think what his edge over Michael Myers and Jason Voorhees over the Freddy the Thirteenth is that. Uh, he, he, I feel like he's much more of a character than yeah. those two. Those two are just embodiment of evil. evil yeah. I mean, come on, they wear masks for most of the time. And Freddy Krueger has no face to begin with. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so those two, they rarely talk. Uh, they never talk. Yeah. And Freddy Krueger can't stop talking. So for my number two, I'm actually going with Michael Myers. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, Michael Myers actually was... Nice was... Right? <laughs> yeah. uh, Michael Myers, the reason he's in there because, again, my bias comes into play, very fun childhood memories. Michael Myers, the original Halloween, practically started the slasher genre for horrors. And, and all the tropes to follow. Yeah, and all the tropes to follow. And this man is just, as you say, he's just the embodiment of evil. There is not much characterization there. He has no remorse. He just wants to kill. He's out there to kill you. And it's really terrifying. That mask, that iconic mask of Michael Myers. Oh man, I absolutely love this character. So he's my number two. Okay, now we are heading to our top pick. Oh yeah. Uh, would you like to guess my top one? Oh, shots! I feel like... I feel like we have the same top, top villain, but okay, uh, okay. maybe not. Oh, maybe not. You have a guess? Um, uh, my guess, your top one should be... Is it the Predator? No, no. Oh, yeah. it's not. <laughs> um, predator is me. Okay, who is it? Who is it? Okay, I'm going to reveal. My top pick is... Yeah. Drum roll, please. Jack Torrance of The Shining. <laughs> Here's Johnny! Ah! Oh, 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 that's a good thing! Oh, oh my god! Oh, he really screwed up, you didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. uh, so, what I like about Jack T Torrance is that he starts the film as protagonist yeah, 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 yeah. and then he ends up the movie as an antagonist. So, yeah. I mean, the, the circumstances beyond his going the range. Uh, is that really explained? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I like to think of the Overlook Hotel, the boast of yeah. the Overlook Hotel, as the supporting yeah. roles to this to this maniacal performance brought by Jack Nicholson. Uh, it's very unhinged. No classic will stand against of time if does it if it doesn't have a very formidable villain. You so, know, I want to kick myself because I screwed up. Uh, definitely, if I remember Jack, he would be on my list, though not my top one. Okay. But that is a great pick, man. Okay. Good pick, good pick. Um, Jack, I am going. Okay. Jack Nicholson is so great in that movie. Uh, yes. Here's Johnny! <laughs> <laughs> Who can forget okay. that? So I'm going with my number one. You want to guess? I'm going to guess. Okay. Is it uh, from Scream Scarface? No! No, he's in my honorable mentions. Okay. My number one is actually Freddy Krueger. I've been guarding my gate for a long time, bitch. We'll see, bitch. Bon appetit, bitch. Come move this, bitch. Welcome to my world, bitch. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Because um, no other horror movie villain 
scared me shitless as a kid than Freddy Krueger. I remember looking at just the cover of the DVD of Nightmare of Elm, Nightmare of Elm Street and that cover alone scares the living hell out of me. I can't forget uh, one of the scenes where he killed a very young Johnny Depp. <laughs> Johnny Depp is not... Johnny Depp is in Nightmare. Yeah, man! I have it. Yeah. Is that the original film? The original film. Uh, no, Johnny right. Depp, he's not yet famous then, but there's this scene where it's really creative how we killed Johnny Depp. And the face of Freddy Krueger, all those uh, holes the, in the that face. The disfigured face. The disfigured face. Oh uh, man, Freddy Krueger. has a killer face. <laughs> really, really does. But Freddy Krueger, that's my number one pick. Now, let's go to some other mentions, okay. man. The popular ones, we have Ghostface, we have yeah. Jason Voorhees. With Ghostface, uh, I like that there's a lot of deception yeah. going around. Anyone can be Ghostface, Ghostface yeah. so that's a like a uh, symbolical yeah. element. Uh, Leatherface, though, I have been really watched yeah, yeah. Texas. Mm -hmm. Texas Chainsaw. Chainsaw. Yeah. So what else you got? From The Grudge, I don't remember that girl whose limbs, who's walking like this. On the stairs? That's not Sadako. That's not Sadako from The Grudge. Okay, alright. Th that, that's actually a really scary character. Yeah, I also want to mention The Predator. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, who else? Uh, um, Jigsaw. Jigsaw, yeah, Jigsaw from the Saw series, although I'm not really... I, I don't watch that film. Yeah. I've only seen once and then I said I've had enough, okay, I'm not gonna... Okay. God is so terrifying. And I think we have to mention the classics. We were not alive when they were really big. Frankenstein's monster, oh, yes. Nosferatu. I should have included Frankenstein. But we really don't have much nostalgia for that. But the Dracula. Dracula, yeah. But they should be mentioned because those are such iconic horror movie villains. I also want to uh, mention Norman Bates from Psycho. Okay. Norman Bates from Psycho. I'm surprised Norman Bates didn't make your top five. Oh. Uh, maybe because I watched Psycho when I was already in my uh, college years. So it's not as terrifying now. It's not as terrifying now. There's not much. But during that time, there. I think Psycho is really a. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's my honorable mentions, man. Those are the horror villains that terrified us throughout our childhood. So how about you guys? Tell us what are the cause of your na nightmares nowadays. So if we forgot something, yeah. please comment down below. Uh, and if you don't want to have nightmares, you should like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Uh, also, you have to comment which among us is the better top five. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I admit I screwed that one up. Right. But don't forget to click that notification bell so you can be notified of our latest videos. And we'll see you on the next episode of Scream Kings. Bye. Bye.